Greetings. I'm coming to you today with a very special program. As you go through life, you'll meet certain people that are very, very special, unique, and you will never forget. And one of those that my wife and I and our family have met is Dr. James Schmidt. And we met him in Maine, uh, where my daughter lives, and we visit with, uh, of course, to see the grandchildren. And uh, this is a wonderful man who uh, uh, lived a very full life, uh, has a wonderful family, and unfortunately, uh, uh, recently has uh, succumbed to a, a bad illness. And what's really interesting is that Jim taught me something incredibly powerful. And I'd like to share that with you. And in order to do that, I'm also going to talk about this on the occasion of the 10th International University Meeting in Phlebology, Lymphology, and Aesthetics. It's put on by the Venus Wind Foundation uh, worldwide with thousands of people involved from 70 different societies. And they're having a, a very limited selective meeting uh, in Dubai, but virtually going to contact people from all five continents all over the world. And what they have decided, here you see Sergio Gianzini, who's the organizer of the meeting of vascular surgery from Italy. And he has adopted this saying, never kill a friend, never treat a stranger. And the participants at the meeting, this is going to be the dress for Dubai. They're all going to have one of these shirts. And what I want to start out by pointing out is, although this has my name on it, this is really about James Schmidt. So let's talk about that. He was a warm, funny, caring man who spent his life giving care and love to others. He adored his family. He even had magic tattooed on his arm to celebrate his five grandchildren, Mary, Anna, Jared, Ella, and Chris. Sadly, he left this life on October 5th, 2021. Now, Dr. James Smith was a graduate of Tufts University and the University of Pennsylvania Dental School. He served with the 31st Naval Construction Regiment in Port Human as a Navy CB, chief of the dental clinic at Toga VA Hospital for over 30 years. His lifelong commitment was to the Maine Dental Association, and he was heavily involved in dental policy, teaching, and mentoring. He was a member of the Council on Education and Licensure with the American Dental Association. He spent many fulfilling years teaching resident physicians at the Dartmouth Family Medical Residency about emergency dental procedures. Now, one of the things about this man was he not only an intellectual and a wonderful person, he was also a, a comedian. And he always said he enjoyed muddling young minds. And why are Dr. Schmidt's observations so very important? Well, interrogating your new patient, stranger, regarding their, their thrombosis risk factors gives you information usually associated with a friend. Now, this allows you to protect your new friend using thrombosis prophylaxis methods according to their level of risk. Now, why in the world was he talking about this? Well, we used to take long walks together when we were in Maine, and he would ask me what I was involved in, and I told him risk assessment. And in response to that, he said, well, you know, Joe, it's very simple. You've got to interrogate your, your, your new patients so they're like your friends. And of course, once you interrogate them, you give them appropriate protection so you'd never treat a stranger and you'd never kill a friend. We know that fatal pulmonary emboli are the number one preventable cause of death in hospitalized and surgical patients. Appropriate anticoagulant prophylaxis can prevent most deaths. Risk scoring identifies who is at risk for these emboli and guides the physician's choices for preventive measures. Providing prophylaxis for the entire period of risk is the key to preventing these deaths. Every patient needs to be individually assessed. We're all individuals. And one of the ways is this is Caprini score, which I would say, although it has my name on it, it was born out of my being at the right place at the right time and interacting with many brilliant nurses, doctors, and PhDs that helped all put this together. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's nothing more than a thorough history and physical with 40 elements. We know as the number of risk factors increases, the chance of a blood clot goes up. We know that different risk factors have different powers. 
bed rest and hormones are low power, cancer of the esophagus and pancreas are high power. So taking the number of risk factors, combining it with their powers, one comes up with a score, a number. And this score is a nonlinear increase in the clinical VTE rate. So as the score goes up, so does the incidence of clinically relevant blood clots. You can see the results here in general surgery. It's now been validated in about 5 million patients worldwide, including over 200 publications to date. Now, the good news about this is that if you ask all of these risk factors, whether it's got Caprini's name on it or not, but you ask all these risk factors, you really get a good picture of the patient. But that's pretty hard to do. So what we're trying, what we tried to do again with it, look at the number of brilliant people from around the world that have helped with this. We've come up with a patient-friendly form. And I know in this country and in most places, when you go to the dentist, you have to fill out your health history before you can see the dentist. Well, why wouldn't you do that with your risks? So that's why we developed this patient-friendly form. And here it is. Uh, and we see it here. It's just very simple to fill out. And there, uh, it's very important to capture all 40 elements in the score using this patient-friendly version. And individuals should huddle with their loved ones to complete their score, thoroughly evaluating the risk factors. Then you can give it to your family physician and there would be a number in your chart so that if something happens to you and you get sick, people would know already what your baseline risk is. Sometimes you have injuries, sometimes you, you have a stroke, uh, coronavirus with it's a very serious illness and everybody's rushing around trying to save your life. That's very important. It's also important during the hospitalization to rescore the patient. So given with the importance of all of these things, I hope that one understands that we can't treat all individuals the same. We can never treat all individuals the same regarding risk assessment. Each individual, there's different operative procedures and there's different levels of risk. So taking those and putting them together, we must perform a thorough history and physical of, to give you knowledge about your patients as if they were a good friend. And of course, you would never kill a friend because you'd know enough about them and you would never treat a stranger. So thank you, Jim Schmidt, for your incredible insight. Despite the fact that you've left this earth far too soon, your, leg, your, your imprint, your legend, will live forever all over the world and save millions of patients. So thank you very much again. God bless everyone. Have a great day. And please visit my uh, social media sites. Thank you very much.